forward. Oh. Roby will get it away to Lomax. They're almost through here, trying to power their way over. They could be over the line. Now, have they got this down? Is this the first try? It is. What a run. Powers his way over. And Cyril in a score to try to put Saints in front. Yes, here goes Lomax now attacking. Short pass, lovely oh. pass off the ground, but Wellsby couldn't take it in. Let Matty it. Lees it was Let playing off the up. floor, but we've got a penalty. Yeah. This looks like a late shot on Lomax. Yeah, Liam Watts again. I don't think anyone can argue with that. Liam Watts can protest all he wants, but... Yeah, Liam Watts there. He was banned last week, wasn't he, after a two-game ban? And he found himself in the bin. Off back-to-back -back penalties. There's the first one from Makinson. And then we see here, it will, yes, it looks worse in a slow-mo. Yeah, time back But he, ha he, he knows what he's doing there. He can pull out of that. Go free. Roby gets it to Wellsby. Short pass, they're going to go in again. And it's a second try. And they crash their way over. And it's Morgan Knowles with the second St. Helens try for the second time in the opening 15 minutes. Castleford's goal line defence is busted open. Becky going for the corner, turns it back in for Rimo. Oh, that was high. Yeah. Surinan didn't miss there. And Surinan could be in a spot of honour here. It is a high one as well. Referee a penalty. Johnny, it's a reckless high tackle. It's 10 minutes in the bin. 10 minutes in the bin for Surinan who... I think was expecting that and probably relieved it was only a yellow card. Lomax is his target. Dribble kick through. Chance here for Batchelor. Well, Batchelor's got it down. I think the man being claims for a penalty try. If he didn't get it down, he was tackled without the ball. But it's a masterful little kick. And Joe Batchelor thinks he's got the try. The referee on the field. Let's go across to the video referee. So O'Brien hasn't got the ball, uh, the St. Helens player hasn't got the ball, O'Brien has pulled him back. If it wasn't for the actions of O'Brien, nice and slow, if it wasn't Tally, if it wasn't for the actions of O'Brien, he would have scored a try. I'm happy I've seen all available angles and I've made a decision. And is this St. Helens bouncing back? O'Brien. Penalised, and it is a penalty try. Oh, go here with Richardson. This time they go up the back to Eden. Here's Farimo going for the line. He's in. He's over. Castleford do score. Maybe there's hope for the Tigers. McCarthy's cars from drops the ball, and Castleford pounce. They're on the board. It's 20 points to four. O'Brien has to reach for the ball, gets it away. They've got numbers here if they execute. Eden to Fecky to Ferraimo. Ferraimo in the there. corner. He now has he got it down before his arm touches the whitewash? Chris Kendall will want to check this. So we know he's in the field of play. And the ball is down. I'm happy I've seen all available angles. I've made a decision. So, Baretta Ferraimo. Makes it six in his last five. It's a try, and those Castleford Tigers fans are delighted. There is hope now for them. Four and a bit minutes remaining here. Castleford were 20 points in arrears. Here they go now. They're going out wide. Eden fires it for Ivo for the hat trick. He's in. He's in. Referee wants to check it just to check the grounding. He's given the try on the field. This is going to be a huge kick for Danny Richardson. So he's in the field of play and the hand remains on the ball. I'm happy I've seen all the available angles. I have now made my decision. It's all right now, so I'll get the map. Are we in for a grandstand finish? Well, the first bit says yes. Hat-trick for Beretta for Rival.